Dangerous Dip takes this backgammon-inspired game into the third dimension. Get ready to have your cognitive skills challenged with multiple strategies constantly in play. This is a fun, easy-to-learn, and fast-paced game where you never know who is going to win the round. It's a race to strategically move all your pieces through the course to the opposite side of the board before your opponent. The board is initially set up with prey pieces, numbers 1, 2, and 3. The number 3 pieces are placed in a row at the center of the board. The number 2 pieces are placed in the second row on either side of the board's center. And the number 1 pieces are arranged in the third row from the center of the board. The mass of number 7 counterweight is placed along the balancing edge in the center position. This counterweight will be used to balance out the board as we set the game in motion. Each player has three pieces that are placed next to their home position. And now with the roll of the dice, the fun begins. Here I rolled a 4 and a 3. I will begin moving my pieces around the board following the course. During the game, if my piece is next to a bridge and I roll a 4, 5, or a 6, I can use the die to cross the bridge, advancing me through the course at warp speed. But I have to be careful. If my opponent lands on one of my game pieces, I have to return that piece to the home position and start all over. If I roll doubles, I can move four times the roll of the die. For instance, here I rolled a pair of fives. Now I can use two of my turns to cross two bridges. Then I will use my third move to land on my opponent, forcing them back to their home position. And for my last move, I will capture a prey piece and place it on the outer edge of my opponent's side of the board on the dark red squares. Each player balances the board using the counterweight at the end of their turn. If the counterweight is in the last position and the board cannot be balanced, a winner is automatically declared. Each time someone wins the game, they get one point. The players determine how many points will win the match. You can also use the doubler die to increase the number of points a win is worth. For instance, if during the game, I start to think I will win the game, I can hand the doubler die to my opponent and offer to make the win worth two points. If my opponent accepts, then the winner will receive two points. If my opponent thinks they will win, they can then offer to redouble and make the win worth four points. Redoubling can happen all the way to 64 points for one win. However, if a player does not agree to a doubler, then they concede the game and lose the point. This is Dangerous Dip, where a simple roll of the dice can upset the balance and declare an unexpected winner. Now available at Google Play and on the App Store.